Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how you remove the valve spring using the Valve Master tool. Um, so I'm Canadian, so I bought this from ValveMasterCanada.com. Uh, I think um, for American uh, citizens, you have to get it from a, a different supplier. So basically, there's two ends to this tool. This one is for reinstalling the valve spring. This one is for removal because it's got a magnet in there to pull the keeper out. So make sure that end is like that. And place it over the top, push down. And the magnet has pulled all of that crap right out of there. And then you can just pull the spring out. And of course, if you're doing this on an old ass Honda like I am, your valve seals are probably shot. So I'm doing those as well. Okay, so I've got the new valve seal on there. And so for reinstallation, you should be looking like that. Place it back on there using this end of the valve master. And we're all done. Pretty simple. Now, if at first it doesn't go on there uh, quite nicely, um, you can just reverse the tool and uh, redo it until it seats perfectly. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And I've got, I'm using the string method for making sure your valves don't fall in the cylinder. Um, I think the preferred method is using an air compressor to uh, push air into the cylinder. Um, I happen to be using the string because a couple of my intake valves were actually stuck open and I had no compression, so I had to use the string method anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching.